In Zimbabwe, the Tsuji disaster relief team is heading back to the capital from Shimani Mani. Just when they hit the road, they immediately encounter a huge problem. After distributing eight supplies, we are now going back to the capital. While driving, we found out the road had collapsed, which I believe it's already been like this. The government have helped with renovating the road, but the ground isn't solid at all. The condition of soil had loosened due to both the weight and the size of the truck. Therefore, the road collapsed completely. As the road had collapsed, volunteers had no choice but to take the path that they drove two weeks ago. It would take more time to travel, but would leave volunteers to find out that the middle school's dormitory was covered by a landslide. Volunteers stopped by this time to check on the situation. One of the students from the school was a friend of our volunteer's child. So at that time, after the disaster struck, we came to help. However, we couldn't reach the venue. As much as we wanted to go inside, at that moment, it was impossible. The landslide occurred at night time when all the students were inside the dormitory and were already in bed. Therefore, they couldn't escape immediately. After receiving the bad news, Tsuji volunteer Loveness was very sad, but this made her become more determined to help people in need. They give us the heart to help people to come and see what is happening here. I want to thank them. Volunteers seize every minute and every second to help the suffering. Through the internet, they wanted to let everyone know the situation of the affected areas are currently facing.